We're here today at the 2011 San Diego Vision Symposium, sponsored by the Discovery Eye Foundation. We're with Dr. Christina Kenny. Welcome, Dr. Kenny. Welcome to you. Would you tell us something of what the Discovery Eye Foundation is doing right now in terms of research? Yes, uh, the Discovery Eye Foundation has been uh, conducting research and supporting researchers uh, for over 30 years. The main emphasis have been in keratoconus, which is a disease of the cornea. Um, the uh, major part of what they're doing now, the ongoing research, has to do with cross-linking and uh, corneal matrix stability, which can affect the cells and damage the cornea. In terms of uh, macular degeneration, age-related macular degeneration, the Discovery Fund is supporting work in two areas. One is genetics, which is looking at uh, trying to find individuals uh, that are high risk for AMD, and also to be able to correlate the treatments uh, with their genetic uh, predisposition to AMD. The second area uh, has to do with finding risk factors that can be affected, uh, that affect AMD, such as smoking, and learning how to find inhibitors that can block the damage that smoking does uh, towards AMD. So it sounds to me like if I'm an individual, the first thing you're gonna tell me is stop smoking. Every study that's ever been done shows that smoking is really increases your risk for developing AMD. It's one of the worst things you can do. The risk factors for AMD includes uh, aging, which we can't stop, mm -hmm. family history, which we cannot stop, uh, and smoking is a huge risk factor. Mm -hmm. So that's something we can do something about. So we always encourage people to stop smoking. Would there be any other things right now that a patient could do that would uh, yes, help? Yes, yes. There have been studies conducted by the National Eye Institute, which has shown that antioxidants uh, help slow down the progression of AMD. So it's recommended that they use uh, vitamin supplements with antioxidants and also eat a diet that is high in antioxidants. Those are things like spinach, uh, kale, uh, the green leafy vegetables, the fruits and vegetables that have color to them, uh, tomatoes, peppers, mm -hmm. things like that. Those uh, seem to be very helpful in slowing the progression of AMD. The second thing is, is to protect your eyes from ultraviolet light. It's been found that ultraviolet light can, can damage the retina. And so we always encourage patients to use uh, UV protection, uh, broad rim hats, and uh, avoid the sunlight uh, as much as possible. So looking in particular for UV protection in their sunglasses would yes. be definitely yes. in order. Yes, definitely. That's mm -hmm. something that we encourage patients to do. Yes. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're and thank welcome. you for your time and your contributions. Thank you very much.